23-year-old college student David Vargas is constantly glued to his handheld devices. I'm always on my back right now because I was writing a lot of term papers. I'm always, always on my phone, texting back and forth. I have the iPod. I have the Nintendo DS. But forever being plugged in has taken a toll on David's hands and wrists. It's more of like a stinging pain, and it's, it's, it's dull, and it lasts a long time. And I've had it for close to a month now. I can barely move my right thumb, and I was like, I have to do something about it immediately. Unwilling to go under the knife, David found Dr. Stephen Shoshani, who offered him some alternative treatment options. I mo mostly use non-surgical approaches. One of the ones that I use a lot for uh, blackberry thumb or carpal tunnel syndrome would be the Graston technique, which is a myofascial technique, which helps to smooth out the muscle and take out those fibrous adhesions that build up over time and, and restrict motion in the uh, hand, wrist, and elbow. Next, Dr. Shoshani treats the patient with a cold laser therapy a new pain management approach using a low-intensity light source. It's uh, basically non-invasive light that helps bring down the inflammation, increase the range of motion, and reduce the pain. The cold laser also brings blood to the area, which helps speed up the healing process. Patients should see the results in the first few visits, but should allow 8 to 12 treatments to feel completely pain-free. Dr. Shoshani tells his patients to take frequent breaks. Anything over a consistent period of time is going to cause the muscles to contract and cause the tendons to get irritated. So periodic breaks and strengthening exercises. So it's about balance. So if you're doing one motion all day, balance it by strengthening the muscles on the opposite side of the hand. He also says check your posture. When at your computer, your monitor should be at eye level. Your arms at a comfortable distance and make sure your wrist is not overly bent. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News.